Hello everyone and welcome back to my stock career in Kerbal Space Program 1.12. In this video we are going to transfer this mothership from Val, as we see here, and it's a sort of nice view, onto Tylo, Bop, and Paul. And for Tylo we're just doing a flyby and trying to grab some quick science. We need about 400 science to complete the tech tree, and then I intend to use some of our funds to unlock all the remaining parts, and then with a completely open tech tree, the next thing to do will be to have contract configurator added and add some new contracts to build stations and stuff, hopefully. And so that will be our project going forward after we unlock the tech tree. But first we need to get that 400 science. And uh, to do that, we are going to transfer over to Tylo first. And if we're going to do a Tylo flyby, we might as well use Tylo to slingshot us to a well, Bop is a little bit hard. It might be better to go to Paul first and then come back into Bop, but we'll see. Uh, now, our apoapsis is on this side, which means it favors going into a lower orbit, right? Uh, if we exited, we'd be exiting this way. We want to actually exit that ways. So we're going to wait until the apoapsis is on a better side of our orbit. So now it's actually on the forward looking side of our orbit, and we would like Tylo to be in front of us. It is in front of us, though it's probably a little bit too far in front of us. We'll catch up. Um, we could just wait for Tylo there. There's a nice little mini exit, 40 meters per second. I don't think we're going to get too much gravitational help from Val anyway. Oh, there's a Tylo encounter, just the next orbit around. That's complicated, though. <laughs> Uh, I'm pretty sure we're crashing into Tylo there. And it's a double encounter. We crashed into Tylo twice. <laughs> we may have been a little bit too accurate. Yeah, as expected, it's probably easier to just go to Paul right away after the swing by of Tylo. It's interesting that the further away I pull my periapsis, the higher the apoapsis goes. That's not normal. how I feel like it ought to be here. Now we do have a contract return to Kerbin from a flyby of Paul, so. But we don't really have anything on here that can re-enter, so it probably wouldn't count. In retrospect, we should have used the re-entry probe that we landed on Lath to re-enter at Kerbin and fulfill that contract. So the critical thing is that Tylo, Periapsis, and we'll get that pretty low, I think. Okay, so we're going around like that. Some inclination. Let's see if just entering Tylo SOI we can do a few things. Have we done I doubt we've done the Science Junior. Yeah, let's just process that in the lab. Oh, it's already full of data. Um all right, well, we'll transmit that day for now. We can reset it anyway. Okay, doing a goo. Well, our science lab is full, so let's just transmit that. That one, pressure data we've done. Well, let's review data in the gravity scan. Oh, uh, well, I mean, it looks like we've already transmitted that. Let's just reset that, log some new stuff. Ah, this one is new. Highlands, Tylos Highlands, we can transmit. Getting closer. And as far as what we've got in here, we've got a trivial amount of science. Oh, it's inactive because we can't generate enough power. Right. Uh, well, we can do a little bit of research at a time. No wonder it's all full. Wait until we're down on electric charge. It takes a lot of electric charge though. We need to drill somewhere to be able to run the fuel cells. Okay, got a few minutes of research in. Almost a science point. We will do some low over Tylo science. Okay, getting low enough to feel that Tylo dust. And we want to reset the experiments. Oh, uh, that barometer is sort of... Yeah, we can't really extend that. All right, we'll leave that be for now. I don't expect that we're going to be short of science here. 
Hey, transmit the mystery goo just near Tylo. Not surface dependent this time. And that is still being cleaned out. There we go. Near Tylo, 55 science though. And let's try the gravity scan. That's not new. That's Midlands. Probably the other instruments are not going to be new either. Oh, the pressure scan is new. That's interesting. All right. Well, transmit that. Okay, so we're going to exit like that. Right, uh, this uh, faded portion of the orbit is after we exit the SOF, SOI of Tylo. So what we want to do is make an adjustment so that we're going to just tangent to Paul's orbit there. Oh, the descending node's over there. No wonders. Well, we're going to try and move that along. Uh, that's fine. That's probably good enough. And then we'll phase with it. We'll wait until it's in the right position. In fact, I, I don't even want to do the inclination part very much. We already have that drilling unit around Paul, but it's very cumbersome. So we'll see whether we want to use that or the one on here. Probably we'll just stick to the one on here. I'm almost tempted to go to Eve with this and position this around Gilly since it's ha it has everything, the Thermometer Science Junior and Mystery Goo Unit, and then bring it back to Kerbin. You'll have to think about that. Okay, so now we just wait for Paul to be in that location. Okay, it looks like we can force an encounter with 400 meters per second, and honestly, since we are planning to drill there, I don't see any reason to reserve our delta V at this point, so we might as well just go ahead and force it to make sure that we get an approach to Paul and make sure that that's decent. This is a little bit distant right now. Let's fix that. Well, it doesn't look like the particular location I'm burning at is the best place to fix it, fix it, so we'll just do this first. Up, 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 up. No, what, what, why? Oh, why, why are you not stopping? Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Mm. It wasn't obeying my joystick commands there for some reason. And we overburned. That's weird. Just for a little bit. Now it's obeying the joystick commands when it's convenient for it. Uh, seems like things have been botched. Oh, uh, now it's showing an encounter. If I don't create a maneuver there, it doesn't show an encounter, but when I do, suddenly an encounter appears. Well, let's fix it up a bit. We might as well go around the same way as the Paul driller ship, just in case. That seems like a good way to go. All right, so we'll make that minor adjustment there, and we'll be on to Paul. Not too sure BOP is going to be required in this, uh, in that we're probably going to get enough science and everything and be refueled. We may just swing by for formality's sake. Just so that we said we, we can say we did. Okay, and go. Well, hopefully that's safe. And it will take a very small amount of delta V to get into orbit. So let's go there. Oh, we are in Paul SOI. Let's see what we can do. Probably the Science Junior and Goo again. So let's reset those. While they are resetting, let me just check the other experiments to see what we might have accidentally missed. Ah, uh, the nerves in the way. Not gravity data. Oh, we can transmit that. Temperature. Oh, we never even did the temperature scan high over Paul. And barometer. And barometer. 
Okay, well that's technically it. Um, yep, we've got that much. Oh, we should stop this liquid fuel production. <laughs> uh, was that? Nah, I wasn't taking any electric charge anyway, because there's no ore. Okay, well, we can still get more science. Nothing wrong with that. Material study, transmit, and goo. Transmit. And we might as well reset ahead of doing those on the, the low over Paul situation. Hopefully there's something roughly equatorial for the ore, right? Yeah, well, okay, well that's zero cutoff. At 40% cutoff, they're all still there. At 50% cutoff, nothing is there, so... I guess we're just going for it. Maybe here-ish. Be easier to plan for. It's all bumpy. I'll just keep the display up, even though it's sort of weird. Okay, so we are in orbit around Paul. Let's do the lower Paul stuff. Near Paul. I always say lower Paul. Clean those because we gotta separate the lander now. That was the quickest cleaning ever. Okay. We seem to have plenty of liquid fuel in the lander itself, so that's no problem. Then our Kerbal should still be in. Yep, Flong is still in there. Okay, we'll just separate it off and then proceed with activities. Oh, let's check the mob propellant. Yeah, that's playing mob propellant. I forget how quickly Paul rotates, but probably over here is best. We don't need a whole lot of delta V in order to start things out here. Initial descent burn. I think that'll do right there. We no longer get the display because the scanner is on the other thing. We are safely burning away from the mothership. No, we can't delete maneuver nodes because Flong is not a pilot. Okay, well, this will do. That ridge is something. Glad we avoided that. Anywhere over here will do. Well, it looks a lot more sloped up close than it did from higher up. It's even got little sharp rocks. They're all spikes. I should really enable RCS. SAS likes to wander a bit. Ah, that was not me doing that. Uh, uh, stabilize, stabilize, up, uh, up. Uh. Oh, reaction wheel's good. Okay. All right. Well, main thing, deploy drill. The radiator's out. Okay. Well, while we're here, we'll top off other things. Okay, and we'll even do the mop propellant. Oh, those things are flashing. Is that that's not normal, right? <laughs> they're flashing and they're at 99.99%. And they've got the overheating indicators. Well, let's stop that. Stop the fuel cells. We can probably Yeah, I mean we're close enough to full on the ore as well. And well, let's hope those radiators cool off. We should just do... I'm not going to have Flong get out. Flong is not a scientist anyway. We'll uh, keep the material study. And we will keep the goo here. And we should do some of the other science as well. Finally, we get to use the seismometer. All right. So, we really don't need the ore display 
anymore. I feel like we should just go now. Okay. And go. Got a heavy load of ore with us. Totally just pointing at the target and trying to catch up with it. Those mountains, though. Okay, there's the mothership again. Our radiators have not exploded. SAS is so wiggly. I'm not moving it. It's just wiggling on its own. We didn't really get to try out that mini science lander that's supposed to have the Kerbal in the command chair or anything. That looks pretty good. But let's take a look at other camera views. Seems okay. Yeah, a little bit off to one side, but the magnetism should handle it. Never got to use the magnetometer. Okay, we are docked. All right. Well, once we get into sunlight, we'll start conversion. And now we're only reading 1,200 meters per second of delta V, and who knows how much delta V we have. Really, who knows how much delta V we have. Okay, that's it for the ore, at least that ore load. Got some spare oxidizer, should we want to use the fuel cells again, but let's stop the fuel cells for now. Got some science lingering on the lander, but we'll just keep it on there for now as well, because we don't need it for the tech tree, I don't think. Now I just want to rearrange the fuel to see how much we might already have. Because I don't believe that delta V figure. Okay, sometimes it shows 2,000, sometimes it shows 1,382. What I'm going to do is just shut that engine down. Now it's showing 395. I don't even understand. I don't think it understands either, by the way. I'm actually going to drain the lander to see if that helps. Let's see. That tank is usable. I'll have to remember I drained the lander, but it'll still have mob propellant in case it needs to redock. Oh well, anyway, we'll, we'll be surprised, I guess. My goal is to now swing by Bop, just for the heck of it, and then exit out and return to Kerbin. Round trip to Jewel, right? We've hit all the moons, and we can be satisfied that this system works. For our next mothership, though, we are going to need more solar panels if we're going to do this. I don't like the idea of relying on the fuel cells in particular, so... Especially when we're docked up. Oh no, why is that extending? Guys, why is that extending? I didn't... Tell it to ex it's it's retracting now. I haven't noticed it do that before. Why 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 are all the mechanical things doing things, guys? I don't even use action groups. Why are they? Why is that turning? It's it's. I don't. I didn't do anything. I didn't press anything that should be related to those. Um, reset to... Okay, stop. Okay, you... Reset to build angle. It's not resetting very well. Maybe that was the build angle. No, it couldn't have been. No, it could have been. Yes. Hmm. Got some curious things going on here. Okay, anyway. No, well, they're not still running, if you will. Some call glitchiness there. We end up encountering it on the opposite end I was intending to, but I'll take it 27 days we're waiting though. 
Okay, and burn. Okay, that is taken care of. And we have our little encounter there. Not super important, again. Just for completionist sake. We have a periapsis that's really high. And we'll transmit some science from here, I guess. We'll transmit that gravity scan first. Okay, log gravity data, transmit. And so we would have done science around all of the moons of Joule. Okay. So now, plotting for a, a return back to Kerbin. We need Kerbin behind Joule by 48 degrees, so it's going to catch up pretty soon. I think that's close enough to 48-ish. We want to be on this side of our orbit in order to exit. I don't, I'm not going to go close to Joule. I think we'll be okay like this. Okay, there we go. We've got an encounter with Kerbin. We'll need to get into orbit around Kerbin. That's a whole other thing. That we might not have enough Delta V4 if this is telling the truth, which I insist it is not. But uh, we'll find out. 126 kilometers sounds fine, and how much will it take to capture? It's a fair bit. 1,700. Okay, well, either we're going to re-encounter Kerbin and not be able to capture, or we're going to re-encounter Kerbin and we will be able to capture. We will find out. Let's do this maneuver. Will Kirstead Megan Flong be adrift in space and need to be rescued, or will they be safely basically back home. Now it's reading 433 meters per second. Honestly. Okay, turning to the node. And let's go. Uh, I don't know. Maybe we should like throw in some monopropellant. We don't really need all that. Well, half of it is firing inside the bay, though. <laughs> well, I'll try and give the lander engine a go, just to speed things up. We put it there for a reason. And clearly shutting it off hasn't produced accurate Delta V indications. Okay, well, I'm not sure how it's going to work. Maybe. There's a chance. There's also a chance that we will not be able to capture on Kerbin. It's going to be close. Just going to use the RCS exclusively. Let's see how it's doing. Oh, there we have an encounter. Well, we could have a moon encounter, but... I don't believe that's going to be super helpful. Okay, caps lock. A little bit of inclination isn't going to hurt too much. Okay, so that's uh, going into the atmosphere will hurt though. We, we don't need that maneuver. Let's see again how much it's going to cost. Basically, that's sort of. Well, we could try and make it a little bit longer. Talking about 1,500 ish. Okay, let's go over there and see what happens. We are departing Jewel. No need for a mid-course adjustment or anything. Long trip though. Max time warp still takes a while. Okay, we are in Kerbin SOI. Proceeding to periapsis, which looks like the correct planned periapsis. Always good to check. There's Kerbin. We're here. Are we going to be able to, like, stop? So comparing the way our fuel is being depleted to how much Delta V we're getting, it's, it's still close. I'll throw in the RCS. Let's see... No, that's all empty. I think we're gonna just be out. Hmm. 
And we're back to the one engine. Okay, let me try and get some fuel for... Ah, uh, we don't have enough fuel to send to anything else, I think. I don't even know. It's this tank that it's getting its fuel from. Okay, well, let's shut down. It's better that that fuel all goes into the other tanks so that we have four engines running instead of one. If only we didn't have that oxidizer. I'm just gonna run to depletion. We'll make this a rescue target. There we go. They didn't quite manage it. It's close, but not quite. We're in that orbit, interestingly enough. Maybe we should just go to EVE. I mean, well, after we refuel it, I mean. Uh, okay, so... The continuing adventures of Mothership 1 here. <laughs> we'll, we'll discover what happens with this next time. But let's go back to the Space Center and we're going to unlock the rest of the technologies. And next time we will also have a contract configurator in with a whole bunch of new contracts, contract packages, hopefully. In retrospect, maybe we should have dumped the lander. But I don't think we have enough crew space for for long then. Okay, so advanced motors unlocked. Okay, no little celebration for completing the tech tree? I mean, come on. All right, and I'm gonna try and spend all the money to unlock all the parts, just so it looks nice and complete. Honestly, uh, so apparently I didn't unlock the swivel engine? How is that possible? I'm pretty sure I unlocked the swivel engine. Why does it require me to unlock it again? I feel like something went wrong between versions. Uh, this, there's no way I didn't unlock the swivel, right? Right? Anyway, the tech tree is completely unlocked now. And we have all the things. So, yes. Next time we begin a new phase. And it will begin with rescuing Mothership 1. So with that, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do press like. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below. And I'll see you next time.